My name is Alexis Omar Diaz de Jesus, and I'm from Holyoke, Massachusetts. And I want to be an actor and a director in the future. I think I can make a change in Holyoke if I wanted to because I see that around the world, there's a lot of people doing that. And it's the only way we can actually make change. And it's the only way we can impact anything that's going on that's wrong. And it's like, if we work together, then we can actually do what we want to do and stay positive. What made it different to me, Nana, personally, where he lives, is like that I got to meet everybody that he worked with and everybody that he touches and inspires as well. It's such a crazy experience getting to know those people and th them telling me that he's been working so hard to change the world and change the way people think. It's amazing and it just makes me want to change the world and do the same thing. Nana inspired me to want to work with youth in Holyoke because it actually, um, does change throughout time. Um, he's been running his organization, Barrios Unidos, for 40 years. What he does actually causes change, so it, it inspires me to actually go out into my city, look for youth, and try to inspire them to become better and, and do better things instead of staying in the same spot. People in the trip that I met impacted me in such a positive way that like, I feel like I can understand them more and like I can understand everybody has something that they have to deal with. I can see it from their perspective and what they're going through. It helps me like understand like more of myself and what I have to do in order to achieve my goals, be helpful and help others and not just myself. I got a lot of advice and a lot of knowledge from many people in Barrios Unidos that I met. It's so helpful. I got a lot of insight on a lot of things now. Some advice I can give to people that are involved in violence is that to get out the streets, think about your family, think about what you actually want to do that makes you happy in life. Um, stay in school, don't follow crowds, be a leader, stay to yourself, have initiative, always have a goal, even if it's a five minute goal, a daily goal, a weekly goal, a monthly goal, just stay focused. A message that I would like to spread in my city, we got to work together. We have to commit to each other and help each other out so like we can actually make change and we got to be committed to our actions in order to like get things going. Coming back from California, it impacted me in a way that I just want to work with my community and helping other people, helping each other to get to where we want to go, bring new things to Holyoke and chase my goals. So I went to Boston as well. I, I met with um, Will Morales. He has a great thing going on in Boston and he works with so many youth. And I think, to be honest, in my eyes, I think he saves a lot of lives. He has a program in, um, in his offices. He has 30, 36 facilities around Boston that all do the same thing for um, youth and families. And he's the commissioner of all that. I met Nane in the summer, the summer leadership camp in Martha's Vineyard, where we did a, a fire pit for pain. And he did a ceremony, because he's a Native, Native American. And um, in the ceremony, he asked me to, to lead with him and to be the first to speak. And I spoke about um, mass incarceration and prison to school pipeline. And I had no idea that that's what he, um, that's what he does. That's what he, what he works to stop, you know. And it, he told me that that, that impressed him because he rarely sees young people talk about that, where he's from. This journey has taught me to like not shy away from new experiences and to always chase a new opportunity and to expand my knowledge, outreach to people, keep making connections and keep doing good things.